right. So do you, here we see the Ampere motherboard. Hey, what do you see yes. here? Uh, this is the second generation Ampere motherboard which supports up, up to around 128 GB, uh, 128 cores and we have around uh, 8 DIMMs total we have around 16 DIMMs and we have an uh, OCP uh, 2.0 so we have all these PCIe cards for graphic and then we have the 10G LAN on board and the ma management port so NPR as you know it's a low 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 temp low 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 low, low, uh, low power low power and it's being used in uh, multiple uh, data centers right now. All right. So, uh, and you also have some, what are these like? Um, these are add-on cards from Broadcom. So these are all OCP 3.0 types. So we have 1G, 10G, 25G, and we have it in PCIe form factors too. Uh, these are HBA cards from Broadcom, and these are uh, Broadcom uh, uh, RAID card. All right, so these yeah. work with this? Yes, they work perfectly fine with this. And then you can put some uh, extremely fast GPUs on there, right? Uh, yeah, uh, we can put those GPUs one, cards. But, uh, we, are, we are compatible with, uh, with NVIDIA too. So if you want more details, I think I can, we can go to see the HPC side, which will be more right. interesting for you. Yeah. Ah, thank you, after. Yeah. Who? Who? Yeah, I want to go nice. for a break. Though. So this is yes. So this is uh, this is signed by Mr. Jensen from Nvidia. So this is the CPU GPU, the Grace, the Grace Hopper, which is recently announced today. So this is a keynote session. Very very interesting ARM cloud server accelerator to bring forward the AI of this GPU, right? Yes. So this is a CPU, GPU plus and memory. So it has it has a memory of uh, 900, uh, 96 GB HB, HBM3 memory is inbuilt. So this is the future of fast computing. Nice. And somehow it has fast connectors here. It has NVLink connectors, yes. And then they have their 72 core ARM. 72 core ARM processor, single socket with a GPU. And if you and come then they here, can have two. If you come here, no, we have four. Yeah. Ah, this there is a two to you four server. If you if you go down, if you come little back, and then you yeah. you, you see the mirror, you'll yeah. see four trays. One tray, two tray. In the mirror, you can see those four trays. So those are all pluggable trays. Yeah. Yeah. And if you come here, you have another two NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA ARM, ARM CPUs. So that one is a CPU GPU, and this is a, G, a CPU CPU. All right. So 72, 72. Yes. 144, 144 ARM cores. ARM cores multiplied by four. All right, it's a lot of performance in there. It's a lot of performance there, yes. So we managed to do all the cooling with these fans here. This is like an airplane taking off. Yes, on the when you when you when you power it on, it really sounds like an it, it's, it really sounds like an Concorde just going to take off. But it's uh, when when we start it, it runs at full speed. But the RPM will slowly reduce according to what heat is being utilized. And they talk about 960 gigabytes of memory capacity per module. Yes. And somehow all this is connected. And you, you have 900 gigabytes per second NVLink. So somehow the whole thing gets lots of memory bandwidth. Yes, the whole thing gets a very big lot of bandwidth. And also to that they have the NVIDIA Bluefield 2 and Bluefield 3 uh, compatible uh, PCI LAN cards. Nice. And here we have more Jensen Huang signature. Yes. So and he said this is the future of AI. So these, what am I looking at here? This is really big stuff. Yeah, this is big stuff. This is X, uh, HXM5. If you want the detail, uh, details, it's here. It supports with uh, 8H100 XXM5 GPU servers. 
these are modular designs these are linked with uh, linked with mv links this platform is on two intel sockets separate and amd uh, we also have amd on this one it should be coming sometime it's ready it's already up in the website so 108 28 core on the previous one half a dozen goose slots uh, is it sentient people ask yeah is it gonna take over or we still have control humans right um, it's a joke it, it, on my it, chat. It, 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 it just depends, you know. They are depends good people. Do with they, it. they are good people. They are bad people. You know? Okay. It's the nature. We are all good people here, right? We are all born good people. At the we are all born good people, but you know. Yeah. It's very. What do we see here? The inference specialist. These are inferencing servers. We use NVIDIA Xilinx B70 cards to do inferencing. So this is one of the most dense servers. We have two U, we can put 16 single slot cards, as you can see. So these, these cards gets inverted into this one. It's cooled by one, two, three, four, five, six fans. And the max, it's, it, this is the max you can get. In a two U server, you can get max 16 slots. The highest core density with AMD Epic. Yes, so, so these are the latest AMD Genova uh, CPUs. They, uh, there are four of them, so these are, it's a 2U4 node, so in total you will have around eight CPUs. Nice. All right, so uh, I'm guessing, as I understand uh, the NVIDIA keynote, and uh, it's a huge demand for this. It's growing so fast. Uh, people are all talking about AI, deep learning, inferencing, chat, modules so yes that's the future so uh it's all done it's all it's the the computing process is so, and the gpu process is so big so that it can all be done in one box if, if you come here i'll show you more of an arm servers these are the latest ones these are ampere one. Oh wow it's already Excuse working me? it's already ready yes it's already ready it was recently announced. And they're all Ampere 1 around here? They're all on Ampere 1, yes. The maximum cores, I think it'll go up to 196 cores. Uh, so what is special about the Ampere 1? Low power. So it's a dual on 5 nanometer? Uh, this is dual on 5 nanometer. High core, low power. And it has uh, the... It has... The, the most... Most performance per watt in the world. Maybe. Yes, the most powerful power in the world. Yes, we can say that. And it all comes with uh, 3.5 drives and 2.5 drives. So we can see it's all NVMe. We have this in one U, single socket. Nice. And we also have it in, we also have it in one U dual socket. So to understand the performance increase with the Ampere One, I need to ask Ampere, right? Yes, I think uh, we might have some NDAs issues. So I think it's better if you go and ask Ampere regarding the performances. But what we can say is, uh, it's we have some. They have some white papers, so I think uh, it's good. And then around here, it's always good to have a lot of memory. So a lot of memory connect. Uh, you get sixteen. Is that what it is? Yes, it is a single socket. Uh, if, if you have single socket, it's 16. If, if you have dual socket, it go, can go up to 32 memories. So this is a single socket, so it is 16. And if it's a dual socket, we have it in 32. All right. So a lot of lot of RAM. Lots of RAM. Lots of uh, uh, PCI slots. And these accommodate GPUs too or that's not this one uh, it can it can occup uh, occupy GPUs too but we need to see which GPU they are they are PCI slots for GPU but we, we need to go and see which which GPU yeah so maybe slots, some single slot CPUs dual slot GPUs yes AMD Nvidia yes maybe some can be more optimized for GPU and other more optimized for uh, we, web we, server we have uh, 
we have other servers which has been optimized into GPU servers with Ampere. Nice. That's awesome. So you show them here. It looks like it's ready. Is yes, it ready? It, 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 it is ready. It is ready. So it, it has been already announced in our website. You can, so you people can, can just go, go and buy them. Com for more information. All right. It's available. Yes. People buy. People, they send the money and they can get them. And, uh, uh, yes. Is any of these using the Ampere? No. No? So we have uh, some... Oh yeah, uh, we, we, have, we have one. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is Ampere, yeah. Ultramax. Right. What's special about this one? Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, liquid cool. Oh wow. Uh, direct attached liquid cool. Wow. So liquid cooling. And this is 2U4 node. It's for high performance. And these are liquid cool servers, so you can come back. There is a there is a tank here, so where the liquid cooling is done. So we have we get directly attached to these. We work with Cool IT. Wow, it's a lot of liquids go there. Is this water or something uh, different? It, it's a, it's a chemical. It's not a water. It's a special chemical that loves getting. Cooled, yes. And that's good at bringing the the heat forward. The heat, heat down. Right. And then you can put all these SSDs. Yes. Uh, these are all SATA SAS SSDs. It's so cool. Yeah. And uh, uh, and these are OCP type uh, OC type OCP type. So this is an Ampere server. Uh, so these are uh, two U two node. This is OCP, the one which Facebook is using. Facebook. Yes. Uh, fa uh, open Compute Project. Uh, are your customers big cloud companies or is it mostly enterprise? We have we have all sets of customers. We do have all sets of customers. So we have big big tech companies also just buy from Gigabyte. They don't uh, make their we, own design. We have we have partners. We it, uh, we do we do we have different kinds of business models. Once we work with partners, once we work with directly with the customers. And maybe they have specific demands. If they have a big order, you help to customize exactly yes exactly what, what they, they want. want huh? Yes. It depends upon application, it depends upon their data center, it depends upon what, what they need. So we can do some customization for them. And here's... Um, There's also another Ampere. So this is an, this is an Ampere. Uh, an HDX? HDX. With the Ampere. Yeah. This is a single socket because... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so sorry. Oh, is it, is it stable? Yeah, is this this thing full? But so otherwise it's good, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so... Right there, yeah. somehow there's a GPU connecting. So big G GPU. The GPU goes into the next box. Uh, those XXM modules goes in here. Ooh. So Whoa. this is where the module sits. It's empty right now, but this is where the module goes in. All right. Just goes under right there. It does and under there will be right there, and the same for Ampere One, I guess. Yes in the near future. It should be ready, but we still have... Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> if you can please... I hope still... Yeah. Still one. Hopefully. If you can connect on this. There. All right. It's very nice. Uh, if you don't mind, right, right here, I saw something interesting there. What are people looking at here? What's happening in there? These are direct liquid cooling, immersion cooling. Direct liquid cooling. Yes. So this is an this is an OCP type, but we have a standard direct type. So I think there's some liquid there. So I think it's better if you take that picture. So these are. It was a little bit liquid there, and then. These are servers that are completely dipped in liquid. It's completely on the, water, on the liquid? Yes. The whole thing? Yes. Uh. Wow. Uh, is that very special design or it's more and more common or what? 
Uh, uh, this is this is a usually a smaller tank. It depends upon how how big your power supply is, the power and power to your data center. So it depends upon that, how how big you want to deploy. So these are most of mostly for POC concepts. So so it's into a smaller size. And around here, you're showing also like how you make little PCs that goes in buses and trains and stuff, or I, something else. Uh, it could be it could be also using an pair or. Maybe not, but that's more like Maybe what you showed not. in the beginning, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is not my part, so I might not know no. much. I will have to transfer it to another sales or, a, right. or an BDM who can help you more on the other parts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use Wise. Wise is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart.